Alaska with rough for him, but I have a backpack, so I'll put him in the <laughs> worst case scenario. Ready? I was not born ready. And now he's I'm mostly ready. I'm going to have coffee in a sack. <laughs> oh, three coffee now. Yeah. Let's sleep in the same weekend. Okay, Papa Chris, see you later. See you later, man. So how long is this trip? Usually. Uh, seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> Any last words? See you guys. Take care. Tell my mom I love her. <laughs> so I'm the interviewer. Tarek is, the, Tarek is my guest today Oops. on the Bergen Jiu Jitsu Nature Show. Thank you Welcome. so much for having me here. It's Welcome. Pleasure. Welcome. Hmm. So Tarek, how long have you been competing? Ooh, uh, I competed my first year in Jiu-Jitsu like in 2011, so that's almost nine years. Yeah, you're old. In dude. August. Was it Oslo? No, it was Swedish Open. I got armbarred my first fight <laughs> by uh, Alexander Buffalo. Did you get your uh, rematch? Still, you still remember the name? Yeah, yeah, no, I did. I have been fighting him ever since like every belt. So yeah, I've got my rematch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. is also our guide, so we're trying to see. Yeah, so we've been we've got lost like Five three times, times now. Six times we didn't get here. lost. We're just uh, exploring uh, with some mistakes. Okay, so next question: What was your first big competition, like Europeans, Worlds, Pan Ams, whatever well, you consider big after the? My first big competition was uh, European 2013 in the blue belt as a juvenile mm -hmm. uh, until like purple belt. Was it 2015 or 16? No, I think it was 15. That's when I went to the Nogi Worlds. Mm -hmm. And uh, was that the second place that you got? Yeah, that's when I lost to Craig Jones in the finals. <laughs> the funny part was like Craig Jones was super nice to me before the fight. Like he came over and he was like, ah, yeah, dude, imagine Australia, Norway in the finals. <laughs> wow, it's like two totally not jiu-jitsu countries, you know. <laughs> I was like, yeah, cool. I, I, little did I know how much he was gonna mess me up afterwards. <laughs> but, but yeah, he basically pulled a guard before me and then he did exactly what I would want to do to him. Go for the Kimura and take the back. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. How was your, uh, let's say, mental toughness development over the over the belt? Oh, uh, In short, if you want. I think I was just so over, over uh, excited, you know, like, you know, like I would, one, I would be a little bit tunnel vision, so I would go for certain things too much, like for example, uh, in the blue belt, I would do only dark strokes, and to some degree, I think having that mindset, it stopped me from salute, like seeing the other techniques over there as well, and uh, it kind of comes also in when you're too excited or too uh, like uh, yawning and you're kind of like almost sleepy yeah. before a competition yeah. that's that's like the opposite and then yeah, you have the, and then you have the completely nervous like you're you're about to piss your pants kind of up there right yeah. so you want to find that middle ground between those two where you're on but you're not too much so that you're gonna piss your pants right but you don't want to be sleepy and yeah. yawning all the time. I think uh, psychology calls it optimal arousal yes not a pun it's literally what they, yeah. what they say so no but I, I've been experimenting a couple of those different things and and also it's a, a lot about like you wanna you want to go in with happy thoughts you want to go in with like angry thoughts how what kind of mindset do you work best with right so mm -hmm. following up What's your mindset? My mindset uh, right now is just happy thoughts, right? Okay. Like, like I want to enjoy competing, and I want to make it fun for myself, so that I want to do it again. And that's why I try to like keep it happy and and uh, fun, not only for me but for other people as well, because I I think it's more motivating. Uh, you don't want to be pissed and angry and then go in there and then they get, maybe you lose and then you're more pissed and angry, you know? It's bad. But uh, okay, so when you did the uh, when you did all the competitions with the uh, more famous, dangerous guys that you might have met or not, how oh, do yeah. you feel at the beginning beginning of the match? Are you like well, super confident and careful, or balanced out? Like, what's your first template of the when you start? Oh, you like 
<laughs> if it's not open weight, you can always like just think of it like this way. You can always think like they're they're just as much flesh and blood as you are, right? Yeah. And then why shouldn't you have the same chances as they have, right? Yeah. You have two arms. Like me. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> Was it always like that for you or you also had to work on that to No like I, I think I I sometimes I overestimate my opponents to some degree like I, I overanalyze or I get too pulled into their game yeah that happens all the time but then it's like in the end you just want to focus on yourself a little bit and be more like okay this is what I have planned this is what I want to do and uh, you will improvise as you go if yeah. anything happens so you're controlling, not him, and then whatever yeah, happens, it's basically. still. So, so the, it's like the same thing we talked about before, like don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, right? Yeah. Because in the end, you're gonna fall because that's the only thing you're thinking about. And the same thing is like don't get swept, don't get swept, or don't get past, don't get past. You, that if that's your focus, you're kind of already losing in one way, right? Yeah. Of course, like there's times when you want to be defensive, you want to stall maybe a little bit, or you want to see him spend all his energy and then you're going to make a move but your mindset is always going to be uh like okay i try to set up something i want to do this i want to do that yeah you're like aware that it can happen but you're more focused on what you can do to the guy yeah basically remember that way but yeah i think this is a good good place to end the interview yeah any final uh Thoughts? Check out uh, TarekBJJ.com, YouTube channel, Instagram, and uh, forgive him for his for his humor and mine too. Yes. How terrible! He <laughs>